We are Trash Sultan. We are possibly the most unique upcoming indie band in the greater Nashua area. My stage name is Velvet Thunder. As a child, the sounds of thunder frightened me, so my mother, bless your name, wrapped me in her velvet sheets for comfort. Yeah, so we call her Velvet Thunder because in middle school she did like this stupid magic show during lunch. She got up on the table wearing like this velvet cape, right? And she rips like this massive fart. That's where the thunder part comes from. Yeah, we bullied her pretty much relentlessly. Um, yeah, I think until the point that she thinks it's actually a flattering name. And what's your name? It's, uh, it's Mike. And what do you play? What, what do you think I play, man? The harp? What's your name? Tank. I drum. Do you have any hobbies? Drumming. Okay. Hey, my name's Will. I play bass. I got roped into joining this band. Uh, I thought at first it was going to be like a cool experimental act, but it's just flaming hot garbage. No other way to put it. Whoa, whoa guys. We're really offbeat here. Shut up, you tasteless Do you even know how to play your instrument? But, but... But your mic isn't even plugged in. Your mic's not even plugged in. Meh, 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 meh. Shut up, Nick. Yeah. Shut up, Nick. I am the father of Velvet Thunder. Don't call her that. Excuse my wife. To be honest, I'm proud of our daughter. It can be a little rough around the edges, but if they keep at it, they'll be great. I myself was in a band once. Here we go again. Dave, that was years ago. And frankly, you weren't good. And neither is your daughter. That's right. I said your daughter. You passed on the lack of musical talent to her. You know what? I'm proud of my daughter. So we are preparing to play a venue. This is our first major gig outside of my father's garage. This was the first pub we didn't get kicked out of. So I count that as a win. Frankly, last night I went out to have a lovely dinner with my wife. And these... I mean, they put on one of the acts I've ever seen. I mean, they're just a, they're a pub act. Do you know how bad you have to be in, to be one of the, the top worst pub acts I've ever seen? You really have to be a We are about to release our debut extended play, Burning Chapstick. This is really going to shake up the world of music and bring the industry to its knees. I personally feel inspired by many great artists of our age. For example, the Bee Gees, Neutral Milk, Milk Hotel, the Deadliners, and In Utero Singing. What do you feel your music is inspired by? Uh, copious amounts of... I'm inspired by the uh, suffering of the um, urban youth. I like the Beatles. So obviously you guys are an independent band. Where is the funding for your EP coming from? I really wanted to invest in my daughter's career, so I did my part and sank some of my retirement money into getting burning chapsticks produced. Please don't tell Cheryl. I heard my name! What's going on? Why are you still here? I told you to get batteries 20 minutes ago. Where's the batteries, Dave? So it's a special treat for album release. We're going to give you guys a tour of my place of employment. So after spending two years in a prestigious academy called Bunk Bunker Hill, learning the skills of informational technology... Hey, Shay! Yes, sir, would you mind calling me by my stage name while the documentarians are here? Okay, Velvet Thunder. Come back with a Grammy and maybe I'll give you an extended lunch break. Now chop chop, these fans ain't gonna replace themselves. Okay. One day I'll have more fans than any computer. To say this album is the worst I've ever reviewed is to give it too much recognition. This album offends the very culture of rock and roll. This album deserves to fade into obscurity in the very depths of hell. The problem with the modern day consumer is that they cannot fathom the value of work. They're so satiated over the modern pop drivel while the true art falls to the wayside. Yeah, it's I mean, it's so People are buying it to show their friends how it is because they can't believe that something so exists. Plus, Velvet Thunder had the bright idea to put it all on cassettes. So we're making more money because cassettes cost more. It's great. 
See, I feel like cassettes are the last true form of musical art. For UC vinyls have become appropriated by the modern popular culture. Digital pff, digital for unintelligent SoundCloud rappers and uninspired metallic bands. You're tuning in to 105.8 The Fuzz, New Hampshire's only source of rock and roll content. We're here today with the newest laughing stock of the greater Nashville area, Trash Sultans. We'll be discussing their latest EP, Burning Chapstick. Thank you, The Fuzz. That is not my name. So we are Trash Sultanas previously stated. I'm going to have to stop you right there. We just really want to hear about the third track on your EP, where it's called uh, Gem Light, in which you sing quite horrendously. Um, I might add mine audit knowledge. Yes, I do sing that. The story behind the line is very emotional and personal to me. Cool, great. Um, a lot of people are interpreting it to be uh, promoting Scientology. Well, that's just ridiculous. The next track is literally called Alien Deity. That's just simply discussing how I believe that God is born to our understanding. Alien, if you will. Are you or are you not promoting Scientology? That's a morally great subject that involves a more in-depth discussion. That's not a no, folks. And we'll be back with a word from our sponsors. I don't think that really made us look so good. Shut up, Will. Stop being so negative. Anyway, our reputation is ruined. I mean, all five of our t-shirts did sell out. I don't really see the problem here. Those were bought by Scientologists. They're a loyal fan base. So it's been a while since I've been kicked out of my home. Also, I've become temporarily unemployed. Permanently. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Will left. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad I left that shit show when I did. Plus, things have been going pretty well for me, because uh, I got a gig as a roadie on the Infinite Grateful Dead tour, so that's job security. At least till Jerry Garcia dies. It makes me sad that we have to associate the likes of them. I mean, our fans have a real taste in art. Well, I'm not too sure about playing Trash Sultan at the communal underground. That could be really bad for us. That saying though, they're raking in some serious cash, which is making me look at everybody I see differently. Dad, can we go? I'm bored. We'll leave when I'm goddamn ready to leave. Sorry, the message makes me bring him along with me. You know 10 year olds always complaining. They all have a taste in music. a sold out show. I see this as an absolute win. What happened last night was horrendous. Um, you know, who thought bringing a bunch of Scientologists into one space would be a good idea? Due to health concerns, the communal underground is shut down. And one, two, three, four! <laughs> Ready, Desi? Yep. Okay, well, give me a remember. Actually, with me? Yep, and I'll talk to you. Yep. Action. You know what? I'm living the dream of the rock star. Get to spend time with my girl. Missed out when she was younger. Been nicer if Cheryl was still here, but I got the house in the settlement, so I can't be complaining. We're having a bit of a tiff about you know, what the new single should be called. You know, now we know that our, who our audience is, right? So I think we should, you know, cater to the fans. Call it the second coming of Xenu. I think that would be cool. Velvet's going off on her artistic integrity bullshit. But it's just like, she wants to call it this, the, the Ottoman sa Siege of Vienna. Uh, no one's gonna buy a single called the Ottoman Siege of Vienna. And I need to buy a new Chevrolet suit. So I just don't think it's gonna work out. 